every person has a right to live the best life that they can live and, and to be as happy as they can be and to help other people be happy and a key part of achieving that is looking after your mental health. Each year one in five of us will experience a mental health issue. Mental health problems are common but they're also really treatable. If you came across someone that you might be concerned about it's really good just to have a simple conversation with them. You know, are you okay? I've noticed that you haven't seemed yourself lately. You know, don't try and make it a counselling session. It's very much about just checking in with them and seeing how they're going. If someone's living in a rural area, there can be some challenges to accessing mental health support, and that can be around not knowing where to go for help, um, not knowing what can help, or sometimes not even knowing what the issue might be yourself. And some people are also really concerned about anonymity, so they don't want to access services locally where people might be asking them questions around what's wrong. Um, and I think if you're a young person, it throws a completely different spanner in the works in terms of can I go without my parents' consent? How am I going to get there? How much does it cost me when I get there? There are some obstacles for people to overcome in terms of accessing services, but with some help and with some guidance, we certainly make sure that people are linked into the care that they need. The first step you can take when you want to get help for a mental health problem is to see your GP. That's really important for a number of different reasons. Mostly, they can rule out a physical cause for the way you're feeling, but GPs in towns also know what other supports are available and can refer you to the right person at the right time. Make sure you make a double appointment and take a little list with you about what you're worried about. Often we get overcome with our story and if we have a list, the least you can do is just hand it to your GP and go, this is what I'm worried about. I think the most important first step is acknowledging that there's a problem and, and seeking out the help that you need. In my own experience, going to see someone who is qualified to deal with mental health issues was crucial to my own recovery and I think you know I don't really see it any differently to dealing with another injury. If I hurt my hamstring I'd go and see a physiotherapist and mental illness is no different. Um, so I'd really encourage people to take that most important first step and then seek out someone who's qualified to help you. So if you're really concerned that someone needs immediate help and um, GPs aren't an option we would suggest that you go and speak to the New South Wales Mental Health Line on 1800 011 511. It's important for people to remember when they call the mental health line that it's not a counselling service, it is an assessment service that helps to link you to the services that you need in your own local area. If you're concerned about somebody immediately because they're at risk of harm to themselves or to others, please don't hesitate, you need to call triple zero. The police and the ambulance will then be able to respond and keep that person safe. So if you're after information about help that's available, look on the RAMP website. There's some fact sheets on there. The RAMP program provides education and training to community groups, community organisations and also workplaces. These can be used to learn a lot more about mental health and mental illnesses, but also how you can support someone to access help. We're regional, rural and remote New South Wales. We're RAMP and we're here to help you. <laughs> Thank you.